Hey everybody, it is Margaret. Welcome to my channel, Texas Gal Treasures. I have got a mega haul for you guys today. I was live just a few minutes ago sharing everything I got out garage selling today and one of the big giant bits of the haul was all of this really cool vintage Star Wars and G.I. Joe stuff. And so I didn't do this in the last haul, but in this one I'm gonna go through everything, every character, bit by bit, because I know some of the characters, but I need help. So if you guys know any of the characters, uh, leave a comment in the comment section down below. And apologies in advance if it's bouncy, because I'm not the master of holding my phone still and perfectly even <laughs> when it comes to uh, live video. So I'm gonna flip it around and I'm just gonna work through it real slow and uh, show you guys what it is. So I am live if you're here live, thanks for coming and and hang in there. Here comes. I'm going to turn it around. Let's play. Julie says, <laughs> good morning, Glenn. It's been so long. I know, right? All right. So I'm just going to <clears throat> go and show you kind of what we're going to look at today. So this is all of the stuff. I was at a garage sale, if you didn't catch the other video. And they, I mean, basically gave it to me. Uh, the tub. And I got some other stuff as well at the garage sale, which is not here. It was in the other video. I spent $12 for everything. So, and I did, I did try to get them to take more, but they were just like, just take it. We're moving. Just take it. Okay. So I'm going to go slow through this box first. Um, there are quite a few broken guys, but I, I don't know that that's going to matter. So here's a instructions or something. I don't even know. Or is it just like an ad? I'll have to pull them out. They look like little booklets or something. So there's that. Keep cool with head and wrist brands like real pro. I mean, this guy, he kept everything. Uh, Hubby says that the ship that looks like a blimp is the Moncalmari transport ship. That one over there? Oh, cool. I, I had no idea what it was. All right, so these are... I mean, like I say, I'm sure the bits go to stuff because he, in the other video I was talking about um, this, oh, it's not the X-Wing fighter. What is that one called? Um, the paper bits are there. Like he, I'll show you in here. He kept, hey, Tony, he kept like all the little paper pieces. So they're there. Um, and then like loose stickers that came off. There's like loose stickers. Um, so these are all pieces I think that go to the G.I. Joe um base that's over here but if i'm wrong y'all tell me uh tie fighter is that oh okay i do know what that's called duh oh my gosh i'm so embarrassed so here are some little maybe it's the back oh yeah it's the back of this but he kept it i guess for all the different characters that's pretty cool hang on i'm gonna move i'm shifting myself I'm gonna bounce I'm gonna bounce um yeah you're going to be worth ma oh yeah matching the weapons with the people okay so that'll be worth worth doing so this looks like something. I don't know. Um, again, just bits and pieces that I think this, I don't know if this goes to the Star Wars stuff or if this goes to the G.I. Joe stuff. I'll have to match the stickers and see if they look, they look like G.I. Joe maybe. <clears throat> I mean, it seemed like he had it all separated, even the body part stuff. Yeah, and that's what he was telling me. Like, he seemed to know his stuff. He was like, well... You can order the little rubber bands for the guys. I mean, look, even the little gun is still in the holster. Isn't that amazing? I, I'm nervous to take it out of the box. Even. So, he, yeah, he was showing me, like, these rubber band things, you can, he was like, you can order those and fix those. And I was like, no, <laughs> I'm not going to, I'll probably just, yeah, sell them as, as they're, I mean, they're dirty and they're worn, but I still am okay with that. When I was a kid, I used to switch the legs and bodies on my G.R. Joe's. Oh, cool. Because you just, like, those rubber bands are just, you can pop them open. Okay, so here's this guy. Um, I don't know anything about G.I. Joe, really. So, if you know something, if, if you're watching now or you're watching later, then just let me know. Because I am just going to show everything. This is something I don't know. Do do. Let me know if it's too bouncy. I'm trying my best to keep it still. Or if you have estimated values on stuff, you could tell me that too. All right. There we go. I may get quiet at points because I'm not sure if I, you want to hear me babbling through all this. All right. There's that. 
I thought I would do the G.I. Joe first because I'm really excited about the Star Wars, so I'm saving it. If you're watching later, I'll, I'll try to put the time stamp where um, the Star Wars stuff starts. That's an interesting gun. So you were saying that it might be worth matching up the guys with the correct guns. Oh boy, that sounds like a job. Look, he still even has like his fabric on there, on his hat. It's a lot of good parts. I mean, I'm wondering <laughs> if lotting up this, the pieces would be the best option as far as all these go. But I wanna make sure there's nothing that goes with these first. You know, cause if I have a full set on the GI Joe things, I'd rather make sure I have all the pieces. So maybe I'll do that first. I'll see what's supposed to be with them. There must be a website, if you know, like, a website that tells you what goes with G.I. Joe parts. Oh, your brain is not cooperating. A lot of the pieces go to the command center. Oh, okay, okay. Um, so this guy's missing an arm. But he's got a really fetching handbag. Um, yeah. <laughs> I see a bonus Lego. There you are. He's an oldie. Look at his face. Okay, I'm just gonna kind of. Oh, look at this guy. Look at that dog. Snake eyes. Okay, is that the black one? You have to. I don't know if there's like a lag or anything. <laughs> Stays for the Star Wars. Yep, it's coming. So I'm just gonna kind of zoom over this stuff because there's lots of bits and pieces body parts and here's another mean looking dog he really kept everything so I'm guessing this one this guy's snake eyes here his arm is maybe somewhere in there there are some pieces I've seen that have glue so I'm guessing they fell apart in the little fella when he was young tried to glue them glue them together so his arm is probably in here somewhere because everything else seems to be good morning if I missed you in the chat apologies under there more hello hello uh, more bits Cobra headquarters I don't know what that is exactly but I'll put all the bits together oh yay oh of course my bone is gonna die oh no I'm gonna have to holler at Randy to get me a, a charger because that just won't do do that. I'm going to need an extension cord and the charger. Let me put these bits back in and then I'm going to go do that. Is it too bouncy, you guys? Cobra is giving Jenny. Let me know if, I'm, if I need to work on it. Another snake eyes torso? There may be. I saw another. Is that what that is down here? Is he snake eyes? Is that guy? Oh, it's good. Okay, good. I'm trying. Oh, thanks, French. Francie's not bouncy. Good, good. I think that's so cool that the gun is still in its little host holster. Okay, let me go holler at Randy to get me the... It's going to get bouncy. I'm warning you in advance. Here we go. I need a charger, though. <clears throat> hey, Rand. Randy. Yeah. I need your help. Mommy's um, doing a live video. Uh, you know, I'm not sure. <laughs> you. I need my charger and I need it hooked up to this because I have 20% and I'm live. Your phone charger. Phone charger and then this and then drag it over there. Got it. Okay. <laughs> okay. He's going to do this and save me. Where'd my drink go? Oh, there it is. Okay. Okay, so let's get back at it. So here is that box O oh, fun a G.I. Joe. So I'm gonna move this out of the way. Thanks for the thumbs up, you guys. <clears throat> and then, oh, this was in there too. It looks like something he made. Look at this. Isn't that cool? The white dog, Connie says, white dog might be to white ninja. Isn't this cool? <laughs> I don't know what he did, but he certainly had fun with it. <laughs> Do you want to drive? <laughs> look at this, look at this car. This guy um, probably made it. I mean, it's too big for Pinewood Derby, don't you think? Yeah. 
But look, he has it drilled out on the inside. Isn't that cool? <laughs> I don't know. Maybe the boys can keep that. Yeah. Okay. We'll let Mikey have that one. I mean, we probably could sell it, but... <laughs> so, Glenn says, I give him about 50. <laughs> All right, and then there's this. It's got the Cobra insignia on it. Is that the bad guys or is that the good guys? That's the bad guy. The Cobra's the bad guy? Mm-hmm. Okay. Okay, it's going to get wobbly in just a second. Hang on. I'm going to plug this thing in here. Okay, there we go. I know, right? So, so it was $12 for everything I bought at, the, at this particular garage sale, and this was just part of it. And if you caught the other video, she wanted $5 for the tub by itself. <laughs> okay, so now we've got the charger hopefully going. And I'm going to just scooch to show you. Should I do this? Yeah, I'll do this and then I'll do the G.I. Joe bin. So then there's parts that I think go to the command base. We'll have to figure it all out and put the pieces together. Mm -hmm. Um, it didn't say. That's not turn. Is the light on on that thing? I can't really see. Yeah, okay, Boy Scout Derby car. See, normally the because we do we're we're scouts and Randy's like no, that's not a derby car because there's best very specific specifications yeah. for derby cars. Width, yeah, height, certain width and height, height. and it has to be a certain weight. This thing is heavy. That would be overweight. Five ounces. <laughs> yeah, that's way more than five ounces. <laughs> but who knows, right? Maybe they have made cars for something else. Who knows? Okay, I'm putting these back in the box. If I'm not showing you enough, if you're like, I want to see more, I'll slow it down. To the, I know I should play the lottery today. Maybe I will. Is there a Powerball going on? Okay, these pieces going back in the box. I need to get a plastic tub because this nasty cardboard box is not going into my house <laughs> at all. Okay, and I don't know that this, does it go to that? I mean, it doesn't match, but I'll have to look it up. If you Again, if you know a site that will tell us, I think I saw the gun that goes here in the box. And then uh, that. And then here's this guy. Anyone know his name? Here's that. He looks really tough and and stylish because he wants to have a cowl on just for fancies. And then look at this thing. So this has got, I don't know what it's supposed to do. Maybe it turns the fan. Maybe that's what that was. But this has moving parts that when you press it. Zartan. Oh, he changes color? That's in like real life or like his name is Sebastian. <laughs> He's worth money. Okay, well, let's take a look at him again. Let's see. Does he change colors in real life? Or like, do I have to dip him in water? Or, oh, dip him in cold water. I don't know if I want to do it. Maybe I will. Is his name really Sebastian or do I have to pronounce it Sebastian? <laughs> All right, so here's this. I was showing you that part. Um, I guess it's, what do you call this, a hovercraft? And this part opens, oh, heat and cold. And this part opens, oh look, there's lots of pieces inside. Oh my gosh. Or somebody stowed away. Who are you in there? Hang on. It's gonna be wobbly. I'm moving. Let's see who's in there. There's pieces. This guy is really, really good about keeping all the pieces to stuff. There's a. And if you would like to fund me to get my nails done, I'm joking, of course. I'm totally joking. Send me a PayPal because some so many people are commenting about how bad my nails look. Not now, but in other videos. Uh -huh. All right, so here's this guy. He is really, really tied to his job because he was not going to leave his hover. What do you call it? So more pieces in there. He looks really in good condition too. Maybe because he's been hiding away. But he looks. Oops. He looks great. Like all of his, you know, rubber bands are good. If you have the guns with him, he's 50 bucks. The, the Zoltan guy, Sebastian, <laughs> the color changer. I'll have to look and see what his, um, what his, what his guns are supposed to look like. Like his guns, or his guns. Okay. So yeah, I'm going to have to look up a video. Maybe I'll do a video where I put this stuff together. Troy Lee is now KTM. 
Um, <laughs> Brian, <laughs> he says, I'll pay for the nail, send me the Star Wars collectibles. <laughs> um, so yeah, I may have to do like a time lapse where I clean this bad boy up and put it all together and just for fun. Somebody might enjoy it. So here's the bottom. Oh, look, does it take batteries? Please don't be corroded. Here we go. Can we open it with one hand? That's the question of the hour. I don't think I can. Is this supposed to be batteries in here, guys? Do you know? Nope, it's storage. Cool. <laughs> okay, here. Ah! No, it fell off. Back on there. Oh gosh, and the, I'm nervous because like the, the plastic, you know, it starts getting brittle. And I don't want to break anything. Okay, so let's turn this back over. That says 1984 Hasbro. Cool. Okay, so we'll put this away. And I think I might do that. We'll see how it goes. Um, set up a tripod and then get ready to clean these up and see if all the bits are there. That might be fun. For me. Maybe you'd like to see it too. Okay, I'm scooting. Oh, I didn't warn you. So here's another piece that goes to something that's going in the G.I. Joe box. And this, again, if you know what it is or what it goes to, I'd love a comment. Even if you are watching later, leave me a comment in the uh, comment section. So that's going over there. And then this is the base and I guess I could I mean this glue is so old that I'd probably be able to get it off pretty easily it looks like it would come off so that's part of the looks like a helipad maybe that goes on the roof you think that's the roof maybe that's the roof that's the command center <laughs> thank you <laughs> all right I'm moving the pieces over here uh, let's see I wonder if that boat thing goes, like a little, maybe something goes here. Car, boat, looks like it's supposed to have a door. But there's so many pieces, I bet the door's here too somewhere. And then these kept popping off, like the walls and stuff, so it's probably here as well too somewhere. When I was in the car, things kept kind of coming off. Maybe that's why he glued them. Oh, it's a lift. Oh, okay, because there's a, a thing over there, maybe it goes to that. Or there's another lift maybe, because that looks like it fits there. Okay, so here's this center. Again, apologies for wobbles. There's another piece. There's like a tray. Let's turn it around without making scrap. Oh, look, that's where they sleep. <laughs> Hello, Rob Hall. And then here's a, uh, the stickers look great. I mean, some of them are kind of peeling off, but it looks. That goes to the My Little Pony's Castle. Oh, thank you. Oh, it's the jail. Okay. So that's where they're going to put Snake Eyes and Sebastian. <laughs> All right, and there's a chair missing, but I bet it might be here too somewhere in the box. There were lots of pieces in the box. In the box. All right, so this can come to the side. Let's look at these other. Yojo.com for identifying. Thank you. Snake Eyes is a good guy. Is he really? Oh, okay. Well, too bad. Now he's going to be in jail. Maybe he messed with the wrong guy. <laughs> he got on the bad side. <laughs> okay, so here we have this. I went to a garage sale last summer, paid $25 for a table. Had to sit and find pieces to each. Still a work in progress, Connie says. Oh, I'm willing to take that uh, work. Look at this. Oh, cool, it works. Pull this and then it pops up. That's fun. Oh, where is he? They want to ride. Where are they? Can I grab them? Perhaps? Come on, Sebastian. Let's go for a ride. Woo! <laughs> I'm trying to make him pop off the bed, but he's not wanting to pop off. Okay, you can go to jail now. All right, I'm going to jail. Bye. Okay. <laughs> so there's that. And let's see. I'm going to grab a couple pieces from over here and then we'll look at the G.I. Joe other stuff. Um, and you you do this and you need to keep saying, and now you know, oh, I missed it. It went away before I could finish reading it. So is this something G.I. Joe, the plastic feels different, or is this something, but the stickers look G.I. Joe-ish. 
Maybe this is a roof for something? Or is this, this is not Star Wars. I don't think it goes to, no. This plastic doesn't feel as old, which I don't know if that makes sense. How much did I pay? Uh, I paid $12 and there was more stuff with the Star Wars stuff that I got that I, I shared in the haul right before this one. 12 bucks. Yep. It was crazy. Um, so over there, I'm just going to kind of show. There was just random like Batman and a dinosaur. There's a, a flute and the back of something or other. I'm going to come do, I'm going to just tease you guys for just one second. And I'm going to come do this G.I. Joe bit here. Okay. So this one has got this nice vinyl case, G.I. Joe. I know, right? <laughs> so this is 1984 Hasbro. It's, I mean, the guy really took care of his stuff and kept, kept it all together. So I'm super duper grateful. So there's this old tape on it. And then inside, he's got other stuff, not necessarily G.I. Joe stuff, but there was a date on the last piece. Oh, this one? Let's see. Yeah, because I'm like, the plastic does not feel brittle. Where, where did you see a date? Because I'm missing it. If this is the one you're talking about. I'm looking it over real fast. Uh-oh. Was there. Uh-oh. Was there? Or is that a question? Okay, well, let's just move on. <laughs> Maybe it is there. Okay, so let's look at this real quick. And then some of these are really, really old Hot Wheels. So some of these will actually probably be worth some money. So there's this Ferrari. Got in Himmel. That was such a score. That's a Star Wars piece. Oh, okay, cool. I'll stick it with the Star Wars stuff. Um, so this is, says Ferrari something. I know this is not G.I. Joe or Star Wars, but we're going to look at them. So cool. This just says made in Hong Kong. There's something down there. What does it say? I can't read it. Look for red line on tires. Goes inside the troop transport. Oh, do I have the troop transport? So on the tires, I'm looking for a red line. Look for red line Hot Wheels. What does that mean? Is that on the, that's on the tires? Okay, I'm learning. So here's that. Okay. We've got the Hamburglar. Ah, I was just telling the kids about Hamburglar and all the characters that McDonald's used to have. And they were like, what? I was like, yeah. Got a Hamburglar. Here's another one. Hot Wheels. It means like white wall tires but red. Okay, cool, cool. Thank you guys so much. Because, yeah, I don't know anything about that. And if you're watching later, there, I'm not... Yeah, there, there are people that are helping me, and they're telling me stuff. Okay, so here's this splatter paint car. It's pretty cool. What does it say on there? I'm trying to read it. It's a Matchbox Rollomatics? Is that what that says? And this guy, is, he kind of comes, I don't know, he doesn't come out, but he pops up and down. Okay. Then we've got another big rig. Can't see what that says. California hauler, it says on the bottom. And this one, oh, he's missing a wheel. But he says Ben's on him. Is there good money in Playmobil? Yeah, we have Playmobil in the US. Um, I don't know a lot about Playmobil. I think it's bigger in the UK and in Europe. Here's the back of the rig and it opens. Um, like so. Oh, it's the wrong era for red line. Let's see. There's a little car there. Isn't it fun? I don't know. I'm having fun with this. Hope you guys are enjoying. <laughs> I warned you. I'm going to take my time. Is this guy a G.I. Joe? Oh, he is. He's the... Oh, what is his name? There's your legs. Oh, what is this? Is that Hawkeye? Is that a name? Is that a dude? Am I making it up? He can go with G.I. Joe. Slot car sell well, too. Okay. Some of these legs. Again, if you know names, let me know. Well, Colin? Is it, are you, I know you're joking, right? Colin? <laughs> His name's Colin. <laughs> Hawkeye is Marvel. <laughs> I don't know if you guys. That's what I'm telling you. Go ahead and let me know. <laughs> I don't know what his name is. 
Okay. My neighbors are probably going to think I'm nuts talking to myself out here. Here's a, This one's pretty heavy. This Hot Wheels car. That one's pretty cool. Okay. There's some more G.I. Joe pieces in here. Didn't you say the white dog he had a white something with a white bum? Save all the little bombs and guns. They're worth a lot. Ooh, I will. I will. I'm going to put all the, this G.I. Joe stuff in with the box. Joe Spirit. You guys, I'm going to be in a minute Googling Joe Spirit. <laughs> Look at this. Ford, oldie but goodie. That's pretty cool. And this is also a Hot Wheel Neat Streeter. Uh, here we have an ambulance. Futuristic. Earlier, I was just asking if it had a date. Oh, 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 okay. Joe Spirit was an Indian tracker, G.I. Joe. Okay, well, maybe that is Joe Spirit. We'll just call him Mel. How about that? He can be Mel. <laughs> For real, Joe Spirit. Okay. Looks like that went to... The, oh, this was a medic? This guy? Or this truck thing? The back opens. That's cool. Did I show you the box bottom? You missed Thursday live shows. Does that door open? I don't know what this one is. This is Wallace Bernie, which I don't know what that is. And then here we've got Larry's tow truck, 24 hours. And there's tape on the bottom. They need, I'm, I'm just reading and looking, you guys. <laughs> Sorry if I say stuff wrong, but you can laugh. I don't mind. I'm laughing too. Okay, so I don't know. There's tape on the bottom. I don't know if I should take that out. Okay, then we've got this. I'm not even going to try to pronounce that because it might sound bad. Kidco. Oh, this is fun. <laughs> A Lambo. Okay, is that oh that's a Lamborghini? And if you're watching this later, not live, there there the live chat won't show up. So there are people giving me giving me grief. No, I'm kidding. Giving me tips and, and stuff about what things are. So this is cool. Alright, next oh Superman. There's a Superman speeder or something. Who says Batman has all the fun gadgets? That's a Corgi. That's a good brand, I know. So this is a Supermobile. I'm going to look that one up because I bet that's worth something. Even though it's a mess. It's all good. There's a little... Tomika, is that a brand I should know? Hey, Nikki! That's pretty cool. That camper was stamped 1977. Oh, Rob says it's too snowing and slick outside. Oh yeah, it's pretty warm here. Today it's in the 70s. It's kind of nice. Hot Wheels. Cool. Okay, we've got some more G.I. Joe for y'all to make up names for me for. <laughs> or if you know the actual names, leave a comment. <laughs> and here's another guy. He's already into virtual reality. And he likes long walks in the snow. Look, his eyes are red from using virtual reality too much or AI, whatever it is. Okay, what's his name? If we know, uh, there is a shield that goes to this guy. Is He doesn't seem as old, though. Maybe he is. You can take our snow up on the ground. I'll take your weather. His name's Peter. <laughs> I, I, yeah. Alright, so this is pretty cool. He's got his shield. He's got this grappling hook thing. It looks pretty neat. Okay, I'll put that down there. Here we've got Woodstock in his little car. And he wiggles. And this just says Woodstock. Okay. We got a double decker bus. Ber Berger paints. Berger? Berger. And this is a matchbox car. We're getting there, and then we'll look at... Oh, there's Snoopy. Now, would you lot Snoopy... Oh, his wheel's bent. Would you lot Snoopy and Woodstock together? I think the half-body was scrap iron. That sounds like it would be a, a name, right? He is a cobra dude. He's a bad guy. That sounds like not teasing me name. <laughs> 
again another car this one is a Mattel Woodstock was 1965 oh I will I will look at all the dates sorry am I going too fast maybe I should slow them down this looks like a GI Joe piece and here is a Pepsi truck this one is also a Corgi Corgi juniors it says Leland Made in Great Britain, it says on there. That's cool. Oh, look, there's a Lucy and her engine pops open. I wonder if the other ones have moving parts, too. I didn't check the Snoopy one. I know Woodstock moved. Let's see. You say Lucy 1962 United Feature Syndicate made in Hong Kong. Let me find the Snoopy one real quick because I didn't see if he has a moving part. Where did you go, Snoopy? I just had you. Oh, wait. Here you go. Oh, he does. Okay. Her Jeep show. Yeah, what well, pops up and see, like, his moves, his fire truck moves. And then on this one, Woodstock kind of jiggles when he bounces around in the Jeep. He moves. Oops, you can't see that. He moves around. That's pretty cool. Now, would I lock those up or sell them separately? I don't know yet. Okay, this one is upside down. Hang on. I can't read what that says. Maybe something good to cross post. Oh, yeah, totally. And then there's lots of little bits of G.I. Joe stuff. Here is another car. This one says Hot Wheel Scorchers. That's fun. Oh, my gosh. Is this, does it do something? Look at those. Does it, should I not poke it? Will it, like, shock me or something? They made all kinds of crazy stuff in the 80s and 70s. I, this is 1979 on it. 78. And then more G.I. Joe parts. Somebody's legs. Is that your legs? I think that might be your legs. More guns and bits. Is that somebody's beard? No, it's somebody's pants. Somebody's crotch. <laughs> Alley Viper. Orange guy's Alley Viper. Really? Okay, cool. Do your research on Snoopy stuff. Usually goes on... Oh, it faded away, Nikki. I will do it. Sell it on its own. I think it's like with everything. People have their character that they like, right? Sorry, it got wobbly. Okay, this looks like a Transformer. He looks like he's a Transformer, because look. And this is like older. Okay. Do I want to try to transform you with one hand or not? I'm going to. His arms are here. Um, I'm so bad at transformers, you guys. Do you guys know if he is? What does that do? That moves that way. I can't do it with one hand. Or is that it? Is that what he does? That's kind of lame if so. But no, I think he moves some more. I'm going to have to look him up. I don't I don't think he's a true Transformer, though, because I don't see any marks on him. Maybe it's on the inside, and I just can't get to it. That's pretty cool. If you know what that is, let me know. It doesn't feel as old plastic, but then again, this guy doesn't either, so. Then we've got this. I think that was my kid screaming in there. Hydraulic S excavator. Ooh, this one's cool. That one's groovy. And the back pops up. Hot Wheels. What does it say? I'm gonna look real fast. P1917. I think it's, I can't tell if it says 1969 or 1989. I'm guessing 69. My eyeballs aren't working that well. Okay, so there's that. Wow, we did great. I, might, it, I know I might be going slow, but I want to really look at everything in case there are people that can help and know stuff that can share info with me. Thanks, everybody. Go, uh, go over there and give a thumbs up, and we'll jump into the Star Wars stuff. Give me that thumbs up. Let's see how it goes. No, I'm kidding. Uh, okay, let me scoot this. There might be, some of this might be, I can't tell if that's going to be Star Wars or if that's going to be uh, G.I. Joe. Hang on. I'm going to scooch. I'm going to do the characters last.